Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Shide representing Synchronic Gaming and today we're bringing you another guide. Today it's going to be Root Riders with the Jump Spell. Hopefully you guys enjoy, learn some tips and tricks and if you do like this guide remember drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're not already. Let's jump right into this attacking guide. Okay guys, so the first attack we're going to be breaking down is this one that Simon managed to do. So this is a common Legends League best. so if you are running um the root riders with the jump spell and you see this base you'll be able to take it down so essentially it has an invis tower by the town hall and the double scatter that you need to worry about simon as you can see triple this in under minute and 20 seconds so let's jump right into it let's see what simon ended up doing and we're going to break all of this down for you guys nice and early so early on, you see that he deploys his siege barracks over at the 12 o'clock side. Now the main reason for this is he wants the the peckers from the uh, siege barracks to essentially lure out this clan castle. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull the ice golems or whatever CC troops is. Normally it's ice golems away from these root riders so they can push in towards this single target inferno. As well as this expo arch tower as well. Get it down very very quickly and take away the damage as well as them not getting stalled up against that single target inferno or the royal champion so we deploy all our root riders there with the valkyries warden in behind we send the rc actually very very early on because we do see that the ice golems are going towards the root riders which is a little bit of a problem because you don't want the ice columns to stall up these root riders at all now if we look as well we deployed our king at two o'clock now we're sending in the king to pick off one two potentially three four and five very key defenses in the ricochet the ground expo the scatter potentially the town hall now we deploy our queen as well just to set the funnel for the king because we know that we the queen isn't essentially needed in that compartment especially with the jump because she's not tanky enough as well as the king going up being absolutely broken which is something that you guys need to remember as well so we continue on with this attack we're gonna see the root riders did get stalled up a little bit it's not the end of the world but essentially you want to make sure that they don't get stalled up because you'll get the most value out of your root riders that way moving on we popped that warden eternal tomb right here we caught the royal champion inside the eternal tomb because that's going to defend the rc from this monolith as well as the single inferno and the multi archer tower root riders as well assisting king does make it into that town hall compartment now this is where you need to keep a little bit of an eye on we have super minions coming out of the siege barracks first and foremost but now look at what we do we realize that the king has jumped back out because of the invis tower activating making all of that core invisible we still have two rages and one free spell remaining so what simon ends up doing on here is he sees that he's got plenty of troops and his rc is making it to the core so we rage up on that royal champion against the monolith we know that the king's gonna come back uh, because of the phoenix so that rage on the rc was absolutely pivotal and taking down that core as the king managed to pick off the town hall and then the rc pots that single inferno with the queen and then that is the base absolutely destroyed so then again guys you want to essentially keep the cc away from your root riders pulling it with either heroes or the C uh, the siege barracks itself and you're gonna have a much easier time getting the job done second attack right here so this base is a little bit different as it is a double poison and it's sort of like a ring base and simon attacks this base a little bit differently right so we're going to pause it right here we've got the two poisons now we're going to show you a reason as of why uh simon right here went in with the root riders the way that he did now the siege barracks has been deployed over at the six o'clock side now the reason being is that these peckers we know they're going to work their way back up as we do see we have our valkyries spread out so a couple of the valks will end up coming on down and kind of setting that nice little funnel no trash rings on the outside it helps clean up a little bit but the main point is because when the super minions come out of the siege barracks they'll be able to pick off you know this ground expo maybe these cannons potentially this archer tower depending on what defenses are still remaining but that being said we send our root riders directly into the eagle and the monolith now the main reason we do this the eagle and the monolith absolutely hit like trucks when it comes to root riders and if you can get them down as quickly as possible it's going to be absolutely huge and on this base it was absolutely perfect because they're both lined up together so we can manage to pick them off nice and early 
We sent the king in towards this 9 o'clock compartment with a jump spell, giving him accessibility to the mono and potentially activating these poison towers before the root riders get there. Or at least activating one of these poison towers, but the king does end up popping that gauntlet right there as well. He's going to wreak havoc in this core. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to reach the core before the double poison towers did go off. But now with the core, uh, the king being in the core, we realize that nice and early. So we send our RC in from the around about eight o'clock side with a skelly spell to tank now remember skelly spells are absolutely pivotal in this army because they assist with the royal champion so much with multi arch towers with ricochets potentially singles and monoliths as well so a skelly to always tank for the rc is absolutely perfect because we did have a triple single target inferno tower core of this base as well so now these super minions are going to be absolutely huge out of the siege barracks also because there's nothing air targeting that can really hit them unless there's some seeking air mines or anything like that. So normally taking super minions instead of hogs sometimes can be very very beneficial. But we see the root riders overwhelm the core, the RC assists inside of that one as well. We still have that queen who's moving around with that giant arrow as well. Now this is one thing I really 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 want to focus on which is the royal champion right so with the rc these are the two main equipments that you want on the rc the hog puppet and as well the haste vial they're the best two rc equipment in the game and especially for this army the hog puppet does absolute wonders as well as the haste vial so if you're rocking a different um, RC set make sure you use this one try to level these two equipments up as quickly as possible because it's going to change the way on how easily you can triple max town hall 16 bases as a town hall 16 with root riders this RC uh, equipment is definitely a must have for this army and then you have it look the hogs are just going to clear up the haste files going to carry the remainder of it and that's going to be another three star by Simon to get the job done it is very very easy and I hope you guys are listening and taking notes of these little bit of tips that we are giving you guys base number three it's going to be another typical ring legendsy style base this time it's going to be coming in with the double rage tower so we're giving you guys a little bit of a variety with invisors with poisons with rage so you can utilize um you know the, the attack strategy uh to its most efficient form because we're giving you different spell towers that you guys can kind of understand and figure out which spell tower um what's the best entry point against bases like how to attack against different spell towers as well which is going to be huge so this one is going to be the double rage this buffs up damage immensely so you have to be a little bit careful on how you deploy uh, all of your your troops on this one so we get the king over at the nine o'clock side with so, sorry the 12 o'clock side of the queen we have the siege barracks over at the six and then we have the root riders coming on in from the nine now the root riders are essentially the furthest away when it comes to the cc on this one and the main reason we have our root riders the furthest away uh, from the CC because most likely it's going to be a triple ice golem CC so it's going to stall up all of these root riders and you never ever ever want your root riders stalled up anywhere in this compartment right here because the monolith the, the ricochet the scatters with the bonus of this rage tower is going to be absolutely monstrous against your root riders and it's going to literally delete them off of the map so remember when you find ring bases that are a little bit more core heavy um, attack with your root riders furthest away from the cc and that have the best pathing for your root riders because you don't want the ice golems to stall up um your troops from getting absolutely massacred by the rage towers uh with all the defenses um around it here we see a nice early warden tunnel tome stepping into this double rage tower we set the jump spell up right here as well because it gives kings accessibility to the ricochet the multi as well as these ground exports and we can see that this town hall is pretty walled off as well so the king is going to path it down nicely now this is what we wanted to avoid right here but because the king is in the core and with that gauntlet ability he's managing to power through these defenses there's not that much dps remaining as all of that was going on, we sent our, our royal champion in through the 7 o'clock side, uh, sweeping all the way to the 3 o'clock side of the base, right? But that king being the, in the core absolutely came in clutch, uh, picking off those ice golems, as well as that defenses 
uh, with the gauntlet ability which was absolutely massive and now again the rc is going to be the mvp on the back end with the hog puppet with the haste vial we rage up the hogs as well it's going to be absolutely incredible and that's going to be another three star and hopefully this guide kind of helps you guys on understanding how to use the root riders with the jump spell when to use the jump spell and how to use it and different ways on how you can attack bases with different layouts and rage towers or different spell uh tower combinations but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it it's been a pleasure it's been your boy hopefully we see you again on the synchronic gaming channel